Fairfield Dairy Farm. It's been a family farm for five generations. Uh, about 400 acres of hay grown. 220 acres of corn, hoping to go to 250 this year. Uh, got a slurry store, so it's spring and fall application. Uh, we strive for five cuttings a year on hay, hay ground. This year we got, well, yeah, we got five, I guess. Um, no, 240 cows. Uh, so out of the 220 acres of corn that went in this year, 90 of it was no-till, complete no-till. That yielded 25, 26 tons of the acre. The conventional, right around 23. I mean, it blew the conventional corn right out of the water. And I think it was just such a dry year that being no-till, it held the moisture in, you know, in the ground. But it worked phenomenally well. The, the weed control was just as good, if not better, in the no-till than it was in the conventional. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a weed in it. Sure saved a hell of a lot of money. I mean, you know, fuel and labor. So this year we put in 200 and some odd acres of cover crop and everything next year is going to be no-till. Everything. Look at all the worms. I'm not going back in, but. So this is first year no-till. It was a hay field this spring and he just came right in and planted into it. And you know, there is a little bit of compaction, but there's a lot of aggregation. We just saw about three or four earthworms here in this one small area. Uh, this is an earthworm mound. They call it a midden. So it's pulled all the residue in down, kind of over its hole and it pulls it down into the hole and it attracts the bacteria and the fungi and then the uh, earthworm actually like eats the bacteria and fungi. They eat the residue and at the same time he's grazing on the bacteria and fungi. And then basically you, there's his channel. <laughs> so they do this to moderate the hole to whatever kind of conditions they want or need. And then that channel is lined with like the slime from their body, which is higher in nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium than the surrounding soil. So it really it tells the soil and it also adds nutrients to the soil. Mineralizes the nutrients that are in the organic matter. Uh, now he's got a cover crop planted to further feed the microbes in the soil to increase aggregation and you know, the plan is to continue no-tilling this field as well, so it should maintain this good structure that we have here. You can see the... Oop. Had a lot of rain last night, but you got the uh, aggregate sticking to the roots here. So, that's what's gonna maintain your drainage. Well, I have some, you know, I, I've got quite a bit of hilly ground. So manure is a challenge. Corn planting is a, you know, a challenge, which is where the no-till fits right in. I mean, I, I got some flat ground, but I got some really, I got some steep ground. And I've got no desire to go back to conventional. You know, if it's a muddy year and you gotta go in and fix some ruts or something, that's one, touch them up with a disc, scratch them up, but no more deep, no more deep tilling. Sure cut a lot of labor out of this spring doing no-till. Uh, just with the price of fuel, the price of equipment, the price of labor, you know, I'm just trying, the price of milk's not great. I'm just trying to eliminate some costs. It's just, it's a huge, thousands of dollars savings, and, and it works. It's so easy.